and you guys really haven't sat down with me this entire six month experience felt so sad sick broke i got into a relationship i think we should have actually failed the semester <laughs> Sweetie, hey beloves, it's my Jimbo. Say, what are my gents? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are amazing and taking care of yourselves. Welcome back, sweeties. Returning and new subscribers. Hey, my loves, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the 12th of July, it's a Friday, and I am filming a six month recap for you guys because. I feel like ever since I started YouTube, I haven't really done a sit down video for you guys and I've been doing like vlogs, you guys have been seeing like just clips of my life and you guys really haven't sat down with me and we haven't talked so today I woke up very early and I was like let me just shoot a video for you guys yeah I hope you guys will enjoy this one if you do, please give it a big fat thumbs up leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel and also share this video if you can man but yeah man, I feel like there's so much we need to unpack in today's video guys like these past six months for me <laughs> like they have been so tricky they have been so tricky but you know what thank god i'm still standing strong I feel like i had my moments where i was happy i had my moments where i was sad spending time with friends having a good time having good memories but also there was just those dark days where i just felt alone felt so sad you know like gee it was tough but i'm just so glad that i'm still standing i'm still the girl still looking good and taking care of myself hey but yeah we've done a lot of rambling right now and let's get right into the video and by the way like why am i so excited i have literally failed the semester you think you're like Ooh, yeah, <laughs> hey he's not make sure he's <laughs> just too like me failing the semester but we'll talk about that i apologize if this video is going to be a lengthy one because hmm, i'm going to be rambling a lot so please do please try to <laughs> please try to stay here with me but yeah let's get started so i've written down some points here in this booklet because i feel like in this video i'm going to be rambling a lot so yeah i've written down like six six months like from january until june in this booklet you know there's a lot that you have to talk about hey there's literally a lot and i can't wait to share with you guys this entire six month experience hey so we're gonna be having some snacks in this video um i got some cheese curls so i'm gonna be having that i'll quickly pour them into this plate and then yeah that's that. I'm going to be having these. Um, do I feel like drinking Coke or coffee? Nah, I just want snacks at this point. We're going to be having snacks. And yeah, let's get right into the video. <laughs> January 2024. Oh my gosh, where do I even start with this month? I feel like January for me was one of the hardest months because i started this year at a very bad note you know like this month was very stressful number one i was stressed about registrations guys i was just about registrations because i was i am still owing first like a lot of money you know so because of because i'm owing the school money they somehow restricted me from registering and that thing, like, it stressed me so much because now I had to, like, sign AODs. I had to wait for them to be approved. Like, guys, that procedure for me was the worst, you know. And at some point, I just felt like, you know what, let me just not go back to school this year. Because I am owing a lot of money, guys. And mind you, I don't have a backup. Like, where am I going to get the money to pay this thing? I also got to sign up for a job. Um, and I was working as a waitress slash chef because um, this business, they would normally like host events and then 
um they would come like guests where we have to cook and stuff it was really nice working there but i feel like we were exploited like seeing like looking at like the amount of hours would work like it was crazy like i would go there in the morning around eight o'clock um i start working you know and mind you like it's a busy day like washing dishes cooking you know serving people washing toilets like cleaning it was a lot guys from eight and then i would knock off extremely late like around 2 a.m so that is like like so many hours working so i just felt like that job somehow i was exploited you know but thank god like that money helped me because i remember like december I used the money to like go to Groove. I'd also like help my mom like with some of the things that maybe like she needed in the house. So I feel like that money helped me. But when I go back to that job, no, because I feel like we were abused, we were exploited, and like the number of hours was just so crazy. But anyway, I don't want to bash the the company or the business or the club, whatever it is. But yeah, I'm thankful for the job. But I just feel like nah, like I was i was like we were abused thirdly i cut my hair <laughs> guys january the way i was so stressed i was like you know what sweetie like just cut your hair so i cut my hair i had like a very like short hair like i think it was broad cut also the reason why i cut my hair was that um my hair got damaged because i remember like last year mid-year i relaxed my hair so i, I like i couldn't maintain my my relaxed hair and I just feel like, no, let me just cut my hair. So yeah, as soon as I got registrations, cutting my hair, getting a job, getting a job, I mean, yeah, I think generally for me, that was my biggest highlights. But overall, generally, like, was a very, like, sad month for me. Like, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. And in J, like, you know, it was a lot for me. Like, it was a lot. Another biggest highlight of my January was definitely spending time with my friends from home. Guys, my friends from home are literally the best. So, in my days where I was sad, you know, my friends from home really came through for me. And we had a good time, like, together, like, spending time together, like, going out. Like, it was just so great, you know. But, yeah, and that's all that happened January. Registrations, cutting my hair, getting a job spending time with friends so yeah overall i would give general like a solid five like the, the month was fair for me right? now let's move to february 2024 this month for me was actually the worst like if i had to compare january and february i would say february was the worst for me because number one um i had to come here to i had, I had to come to Jorwick to look for accommodation and mind you i wanted to stay in a single room but the rooms here in Bradfontein, like, they're so expensive. So now you have to pay, like, things, like, top up because Innisfas doesn't really cover the full amount of these accommodations. So I had to find a single room with no top up. Like, I was just so stressed February. But thank God, eventually, I did. So now, I wonder my God, like, it doesn't wear flip flops because, so now, like, the way I was so stressed that... Luckily, I got it. Secondly, I spent time with my varsity friends. Guys, we haven't seen each other in a while. So like us connecting after a long time, like it was just so great. And I feel like guys, my varsity friends, like I'm definitely gonna keep them forever in my life because Sana, like the way we love each other, like the support, like everything about them, it's just so great. And then thirdly, mid-february i got sick like i literally got sick and i had to go to the clinic sana when i tell you go see j the nurses there by hilbert clinic like they were so rude like they were so rude to me and i feel like i should have reported that lady because what do you mean girl yeah so i was sick but luckily i was able to like get like treatment you know and just like get healed and be fine and then classes began guys when i tell you like february i think i was depressed like february i was so depressed and also i had no food here at res so in jail like the month for me wasn't good and i like also i didn't go to class like i didn't go to class because in jail i was like sana you don't have food like you don't have money now what's the point of like attending classes so i think february like the first few weeks of february like i skipped classes because in jay like i had a lot to deal with sick broke not having food like it was just a lot 
and then mid february as well i joined netball it was i was so excited to be finally playing netball after a while guys we had like netball um tournaments where they are there to like select players and stuff and that was really great and then what else happened in february yeah that was that moving to Bronfontein, getting sick spending time with my friends playing netball and yeah that was that but february for me I feel like it was the worst month for me. Like, I don't want to lie. Like, February, it wasn't a good month, guys. January, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. February, uh, sana. Ben Goa, because in J, there was a lot happening in my life. And I was alone, sana. But yeah, there was that. February was very stressful. But I'm just so glad that we over that, right? And right now, I'm feeling much better, i say. Moving to March 2024 guys march for me was one of the best months in these entire six months guys like march was so great number one was that i got my nsfas book allowance you know when you're student and when the year begins you know Gutinja, you are rich so in j march it was great got my money um i went out with friends we went to gold Reef city we went to rose bank with my friends i did more shopping you know i spoiled myself i got things on sheen um what else did i do in march yeah and then i also like um i was part of the netball super league we were playing games at uj it was just so great spend more time with friends i started to learn how to bake you know my friends taught me some baking lessons what else did i do i visited my skin i remember and then i also got into a relationship <laughs> guys march i'm so happy just to shoot you yeah. going along with pal that now March, I got into a relationship with this guy who was a first year. Like Sana and this guy hurt me so bad. Even now, like now that I'm thinking about it, which like this guy Sana was doing his first year. And like how did he end up hurting you? I think I was really in love with him. Like I was really in love with him. And I feel like our relationship was one-sided because I feel like yes he liked me but like he wasn't that interested in me into like us building a relationship and that's okay hey i just feel like i should have understood like what he wanted you know but like i feel like somehow naye like he misled me because we dated it was fine it was happy spending time together guys like i was so gone i was so gone yazi like spending time together, going to Rosebank with him, you know, it was just so great, guys. And then, unfortunately, our thing didn't end well because I feel like the guy was a cheater. I don't want to lie, the guy was a cheater, and there were a lot of infidelities in our relationship that led to us breaking up. He was a cheater, um, and yeah, I just feel like something also happened, which I can't share with you guys. But yeah, something really happened, and then. I was just like, you know what, dude, like, let's just end this because I'm not getting a vibe. But otherwise, I really enjoyed my time with him. But also, he made me, he made me realize that I'm not really a person for relationships, yes. Like, I feel like I don't have, like, luck when it comes to, like, dating and men and stuff. Like, I'm not lucky, guys. And I feel like it's high time now. I begin to make peace. I look at him, Jess, sweetie. You are not lucky. And that's okay. Like, being, there's nothing wrong with, like, being single, guys. Like, there's, there's really nothing wrong. Like there isn't, there isn't. So yeah, March for me was really, really great. Biggest highlights, spending time with friends, having money, shopping, getting a boyfriend. Like it was just so great, hey? Yeah, that is that. March, I would give it, I would give it a, a nine. Like March was so great, guys. Even nine, like I feel so good. And also March, I also got into like photo shoots with friends. I started like embracing my content more, taking pictures, looking good, slaying NJ March. <laughs> March, my baby, you'll forever be famous. Now, let's head to April 2024. For me, I feel like April was just okay, you know. The month started pretty well. 
um, and then mid April, and that's when I started to go asana. So I went out, with my friends like Kwame Mai clubbing. Um, I also went to my friends' graduations. Guys, two of my friends graduated this year. Okay, we're not really close, but like I know them, Sana. And like seeing them graduating, it was very, very like motivational, Sana, because I was like, girls, you guys worked so hard. And I'm wearing those belts. Like, ooh, Sana, I was so motivated. She was, yeah. Attending graduations, spending time with friends, going to Kamae Mai, and also my friend had an academic dinner, so I had to be there to like support him and stuff. Yeah, my friend, academic dinner. And then what else happened in April? I also like went grocery shopping with friends, and then I also like collaborated with my friends for like a photo shoot. It was really nice. And then the problem went to like breaking up with this guy. Because I think this guy dates for like, we, we started talking like in March, you know? And then we started dating March. And then April, sad, like things didn't go well. Like we broke up. And I feel like after we had broken up, Sana, I think we shall I wasn't okay. I don't wanna lie. Like I wasn't okay. Hey. That breakup, I mean, son, it had me like, it had me crying in my room because I was like, why, dude, like, why? Like, I'm just a girl. Like, why are you hitting me like so bad? Did she really like love me? So in jail, like April, yeah, like, it was okay for me because I also had like moments where I was happy being with friends, having a good time going to classes, like doing my best, assessments, passing and stuff. So in J, April for me was okay. And I would give it a solid six out of 10. Like April, my baby, you were just okay. Guys, May was an amazing month. It was a great month, May, Sana. Even though the month started off terrible. So from the 1st of May until the 13th, we experienced power outage. Imagine, like for two weeks, no lights, no electricity, no food in the fridge. Like, that was very like sad. I don't wanna lie, like March actually. <laughs> it wasn't a good month, guys. And mind you, like exams were coming. Exams were coming. We had to prepare, no lights, load shading. We had to go on campus, come back late. Our safety as well, like in jail, wasn't a good month in May, May from the beginning, Jay. So yeah, the power outage, I also did my braids, Sana, May, I was in my baby era, did my braids, I started enjoying Sunday with friends, like one of my friends, Sipo, like normally like on Sundays, we would have the session where we like, we cook together, you know, we buy food, we cook, we bond, and I feel like I love that, like this girl has made my Sundays more special you know like sometimes sunday summer they, they shouldn't be for lovers sana sana sunday shouldn't be for lovers sometimes i like, just spend time with like friends hey so yeah i also went out for lunch with a friend which friend <laughs> but yeah i know i did i went out with a friend for lunch i'll probably insert the clip and then i played netball at up we had to go to pretoria to play against UP, it was really nice playing with them. And then I also had my birthday celebration. Sunday in May is my birth month. I was turning 21. Do your thing. So yeah, May was my birthday month. And then yeah, I spoiled myself. Sana, I went out on a solo date to Rosebank late at night. I wore a dress, did makeup. Had my braids. I feel like for the first time, like I was wearing a dress, wearing heels. I felt so comfortable. Hey, like I felt so comfortable, and I was like, no, man, I'm the girl. Like I'm the girl. I just need money, and otherwise, me now, I feel like I have potential. So yeah, went out on a deal with myself. Um, spoiling myself on my birthday. My friends getting me gifts. Um, what else? What, what else happened? 
um, I also went home because my other friend was celebrating their 24th birthday celebration so I had to go there and yeah man May was for May for me was really perfect like May for me was perfect and I feel like thank God this year I took myself on a solo date Sana let's give it a tick let's actually clap hands for me because Sana it was late at night was I scared no did I have any regrets no it was just so great guys and I feel like I need to like have like more sort of dates this year you know just go out like spend time like you don't have to be with someone to like enjoy dates sometimes like just bath kappa look good go out go have fun and come back and sleep that's what I did on my birthday and it was really great yeah May for me was definitely a nine it was an amazing month even though we had like power outages and stuff and I feel like the power outage somehow has an impact on how I performed in my June exams because I I didn't have time to like prepare and also I feel like May for me like I was so busy I don't want to lie like I was so busy friends going home coming back content vlogging like May and Jay it was a lot to do hey but yeah for me I have no regrets because I literally enjoyed May now let's go to june 2024 june for me was very stressful you know when it's time for exams and now like you have to like get yourself together you have to study all those cross nights you know it was just so stressful for me you know so yeah i started with my exams i remember i had three exams on campus to write and i did write them i also what was i doing in june I also went home because one of my friends was celebrating their 21st birthday celebration. I had to go there, Sana, because that is my girl. Like, that is my girl. I also got her a gift because she did. And then, yeah, man, but I feel like, <laughs> Sana, June, June, June didn't end well because I just received my results, like, yesterday, you know? And, like I did well, I don't want to lie, I did well. I have a couple of B's, a couple of C's in my transcript, but some of this, this one module. You know when you didn't see something coming and when you open your portal, you see you fail. I'm like, like what's happening? Because Sana, like this module there, like I studied, I don't want to lie, like I studied, even like during the year we had like tests, we had assignments, and Sana, I did extremely well. You know, I was getting like A's on those tests. Like, I did well, Sana. I could see like how I went wrong. I don't know, Sana. I think the exam, like, I didn't do well as I thought, you know. And also, I'm also blaming myself because I feel like I was slacking. I was lazy this semester. Very lazy. Didn't attend classes. Um, um, didn't attend tutorials. I just wanted to be in my room, guys. But like, when it came to like submitting and stuff, I did well, did everything right, but then Jay, I just feel like, hmm, like things didn't didn't go well because Sana, mind we have I have an F, and chances are if I don't work hard this semester, I'm gonna repeat third year. Like, what do you mean? Like, this is so crazy. And also, the reason why I'm not that sad about it is because I spoke to my mom yesterday. I spoke to my mom. I spoke to my granny, and I was like, girls. I know you guys believe in me so much, you know, but then this semester I didn't do well. And thank God my mom and Green, like, they were so supportive. They were like, no, Snati, it's not a big deal. Don't stress about this because you know you can do better. We believe in you. And I feel like that made me feel so much better, Snati, because my mom, I feel like my mom somehow, she can be harsh, you know, and sometimes, like, I don't like telling her things. But to hear her saying that like i was like i can really do this hey like i can really do this i just need to work more hard now stop this thing of slacking chilling in your room not studying and then at the last minute you want to stand up and study like that won't work honey like that won't work so yesterday in gym i actually wanted to film this yesterday but because i was sad i did not film this and then today sana like i literally woke up with an email of good news telling me good um 
let me not change this but i'm gonna be working for a brand it's like a shooting thingy but let me not share too much information because i still have to wait for the package to arrive and once the package is here we will talk more about that but yeah i have I have a, a brand that I have to be working with. Guys, I feel like this CNN, like I wanna push myself so much because I feel like I have so much potential of like being where I want to be. So this year, I wanna take more pictures for my Instagram, you know, I wanna like grow my Insta, I wanna grow my YouTube as well, I wanna grow like my TikTok, and also I just wanna, I just wanna get like brands. I think for me the biggest thing of this year would be like securing brands and just making money Sana because I feel like I'm the girl and that can happen Sana if only I put in the work I work hard and yeah so yeah so now it's July you know and now I'm just I just received good news and sad news the sad news is that I didn't do well in the first semester and the good news is that I have just secured a brand <laughs> another big thing that happened in june was that i was part of the usa tournament 2024 for the for the very first time né? um the usas have decided that they're gonna include male netball in their tournament so yeah it was great playing with like different varsities we played with like ufs we played with like uj tut um VUT, like all those different universities, we played with them. But I'm just so sad, hey? I feel like also the reason why I didn't do well, it could be that I was, I feel like my time was invested in netball. Like we would gym like four days and stuff. And I feel like somehow this might have affected my performance, Sana. And another thing that, another, another thing that makes me sad is that I've spent so much time in like playing netball, but I wasn't given the chance to like participate in this tournament. I remember I only played like one or two games, and then in most games, like I just sat down, I got benched, and I watched my players, I, I watched my team members playing. But it's okay, I'm not really sad about that. But yeah, I just feel like second semester, I need to like choose my priorities now. I think I wanna focus more on like school. I wanna focus more on like content creation, taking pictures, going out, and maybe like some little time on like sports because I also want like to de-stress and just like forget about my schoolwork and stuff. But yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. If you did, please give it a big fake thumbs up. Tell me what you would like to see in the, in the next video. What was the biggest highlight of my sit down video for you guys? And what do you guys think? What should I work on? What should I improve? Because I don't like... Oh my gosh, like, I don't like sit down videos because I feel like I ramble a lot. And also I'm struggling with like speech and I'm telling it to myself. So, hmm, sit down videos, sit down videos like they scare me a lot. But I feel like this year, I want to give myself a chance and just like relax, do more sit downs, you know. But yeah. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.